What's going on guys? In the gym, deload week. You'll probably be seeing this the week after I did it, so I'm now back into my normal training. But if you watched my last video, I was starting to get a few little niggly things that could have could have developed into an injury, like my my knees were getting very sore, my elbows, I could feel tendonitis coming on, so I felt, seeing as I didn't take a break straight after the show, let me throw in a deload week, and let me now explain what a deload week is. A deload week is basically lifting lighter weights, so 60 to 65% of your one rep max for three or four sets of five. During this, you want to focus on the mind-muscle connection. So it's more about the form. So correcting any um, imbalances, correcting alignment issues, and just making sure that your form is really good with it being under a load. As you saw, I started off with a warm-up, which was the cable flies, which I did seated just to kind of take a bit of the pressure off when you're standing it, it kind of throws you off balance a little bit then went on to bench press so this was 95 kilos which is about 60% of my max I normally max at about 165 I'm gonna push for 170 in a few weeks so I'm, I'm gonna get that footage as well so fingers crossed I get that but as you can see just there my right arm sometimes doesn't come down as far and you can see that in the pec development so that's a issue that I need to correct hence why I moved on to the dumbbell press because then it stops my left arm from compensating for where my right arm is weak and I think that's mainly because I actually got had shoulder separation and a lot of um, injuries to my right shoulder from American football that was my dominant shoulder and that's the one I always put into people's chest so to speak and the shoulder I always led with so I think some injuries there have maybe caused me to not stretch as much so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see my physiotherapist get massaged out see if there's any tightness in the area now this exercise that you're watching now is a underhand um, chest press it's quite weird to do and you can't really go that heavy I'm actually gonna do a separate video on that one because it's it's really good but if you don't do it right you'll hit the front delts so yeah video will be coming soon on that one and then just finished off with the cable crossovers so I mean you can see the the plates in the background I didn't it wasn't that heavy I'm just making sure that I'm getting a full stretch and a full squeeze before I head off onto back. I swear this guy in the background he was he was trying to avoid being in the camera shot so bad he was he was just waited for like five minutes and then in the end he just like yeah fuck it I'm gonna I'm gonna do my set anyway. Okay so back as you can see making sure that my shoulders come forward and then just squeeze back in the chest without leaning back too much. Making sure I'm focusing on the form, squeezing, five reps, nice and easy. But surprisingly, I actually got a really good pump from this workout. So it is a deload week, it's not as much volume, but yeah, sometimes your body's just crying for, for rest. Then this exercise, I've really found that it targeted the um, the lats loads. I'll, I might have to do a video on this one as well because uh, the crossover at the top and then pulling out, it just it really really hits the lats to give you that that V taper, the sweep that everyone wants. <laughs> now this really felt really good in terms of recovery the day after I was a not sore but I felt like my body was repairing 
after the leg one, I felt like my knees were feeling a lot better. It's not always about just pounding the weight, pounding the weight. You need to listen to yourself, listen to your body and realize when it's screaming for, for help, for rest and give it the rest that it needs. But yeah, that was my deload workout, chest and back. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the footage. Hope it was informative. And I guess I'll catch you next time. Peace.